Much before all this CD technology and other things has come and I was not doing so much work. I had a lot of time. I used to do five counselings every day. And much before emails had come. So there used to be a lot of these letters and one man used to regularly write a letter to me saying that Asha has left me in life. Asha has left me in life. So you will have to counsel me. I said, Asha has left you in life, left you in life. What counselling I will do? And I got to know Asha is already married to somebody. If she was still available at least. I can change my profession and do some more. But she's not available anymore. What will I do? For seven months I did not meet, but he kept on persisting. So finally I decided to meet like how some of you decided to do tat. As long as I say, no, again Subhu will come and see me. Say, oh, there's a program by Pantu and the fire of Armada. So you have come. So finally I decided to meet. CDs had not come. You remember those days? Some of these people won't know this. Uh, TDK cassette, D60, D. If you had TDK cassette, you were a very rich family those days. <laughs> and I had recorded in a TDK cassette, and there used to be this red Sanyo tape recorder, two in one, that used to come. You have to be very close to it, only then you can hear what is there on that. And I had recorded there and this man had come. I told him, see, first you have to listen to some song. It will help you to relax. After you relax, I will counsel you. Whatever you say. Okay. So I played. And there it started. Last Christmas I gave you my heart. Last Christmas I gave you my heart. And the song went on. And he was sitting and listening. Last Christmas I gave you my heart. Last Christmas I gave you my heart. Last Christmas, I gave, I have recorded only so much. <laughs> play, record, stop, rewind, play, record. That's all. Entire 30 minutes I have recorded only this. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. No, don't get restless. Half an hour. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. Last Christmas, I, and like you, he was also sitting, <laughs> he was feeling so uncomfortable, he's looking at me, looking at the tape recorder, and I'm acting as if I know nothing. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. He was about to switch off. I told him, why are you touching that? When you come for counseling, you have to listen, you have to relax. He was looking red. <laughs> but what to do? Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. Last Christmas, I gave you my heart. There was a point at which he couldn't take it. Forcefully, he went and switched it off. He ejected, took the cassette out also. And I angrily asked him, who asked you to eject that cassette? If this is called anger, he showed ferocity. He was so furious with me. He said, this cassette is already spoiled. Same line, last Christmas, I gave you my layer, last Christmas. I said, so what to do with that cassette which is spoiled? He said, nothing can be done about it. And he threw it in the dustbin. I asked him, one line is going on singing in your head, Asha has left me in life, Asha has left me in life, Asha has left me in life. What should I do about it? He immediately got up and said, I've got the message. That day I told him, today I'm telling you, some sad lines from your past is going on singing here. Throw it out and focus on the future. Throw it out. Focus on the future. I think you're wasting precious human energy on things that cannot be changed and not channelizing it towards things that can be changed. In fact, I have a mechanism to deal with all the hurt of my past. One, as an organization, anytime somebody resigns, anytime somebody leaves, I always tell myself, go. But I'll make this so big that one day you will regret you left me and went. You know, derive inspiration out of it. Derive inspiration. Every fellow who was part of you who left you, 
you should become something so monumental in the future that they should feel they made a mistake of leaving you too early in life. Derive inspiration out of it. In fact, I'm asking all of you, write this in your heart and keep it. Not even in your notebook. Write this in your heart and keep it. Anybody who has made you cry in life, for them you will not cry anymore. Enough. Make this resolve right now. There must be a value to your tears. Don't give it away to everybody. Tears must be given to God. Tears must be given to people you love. Tears must be given to this beautiful life. Tears must be shed out of faith, gratitude, devotion, surrender, bhakti. Don't give these tears to people who have already betrayed you. Those who have already made you cry in the past, you will not cry for them anymore. From this moment, make that resolve. In fact, derive so much strength from this. That tell yourself, you will go on to become something so humongous in the future that anybody who left you in the past should miss you in the future. I repeat, anybody who has left you in the past should miss you in the future. Resolve right now, those of them who have already made me cry, I will not cry for them under any circumstances in the future. Make that resolve right now. 